what we saw last night at the end of this game was an all-time great at-bat and confrontation between pitcher and hitter. We saw it. We're talking about it. I just spent 10 minutes to start the program on it. It was a bring-your-family-around-the-television-set type moment for Major League Baseball, which, by the way, they're dying for. Mm -hmm. They got it last night. They've got it all tournament with this thing. Truly with the tournament. Yeah. But I just want to talk about this moment, this at-bat, that was allowed to breathe. If this was the regular season or this fall, there would have been a pitch clock on it. Let's go. Look at this at bat again. Go back. C.J. Nitkowski, who is a former Major League pitcher who covers the sport for the Texas Rangers, he tweeted out about this. Every single pitch last night would have been a pitch count violation. Didn't even think Every that. one of them. And I wasn't sitting there thinking this is taking too long. I was thinking, when this is incredible. Every pitch built up yeah. drama. Every single one of them. And if there was a clock going, it would have been like, okay, you know, mm-hmm. let's go. Let's go. Let's keep it moving. And some moments aren't built to be rushed. And baseball is a sport that I understand feels the need to rush things up. But turn the pitch clock off in the ninth inning. Any, or any save situation. Turn it off. Turn it off. I don't think there was a single person last night watching that game, and there were moments in that game where I was struggling to stay awake. I'm not going to lie. It got a little, I, got a yeah, little slow. Middle of the game. Yep. when Because, again, you know, like nobody's – what you want to see in these games are – Starters going deep. I don't know if you're going to see that much anymore. Starters going deep. It's just like guys who coming out of the pen. You never heard of third and fourth, fifth innings, whatever. There was one inning uh, where the pitcher from uh, um, uh, on, on, from um, Team USA, Adam, came in, yep. struck out two guys, then walked the next three, and it's just like five straight minutes of a ball not put in play, which is what baseball's trying to get rid of, and I understand that with this with the with the pitch clock. And the shift that we saw last night, by the way, last game of the year, you're going to see with a shift, or maybe ever. I, I proffer to say the next World Baseball Classic might have the pitch clock and yeah, rules maybe. that we're seeing put into place by Major League Baseball this year. Maybe. So, I understand you want to speed the game up. But there are some moments that you should let play out. And even with me saying, when's the game going to end? Or is this game's this game's lagging? There's not enough action for me. I don't know a single soul last night that was thinking to themselves, this is dragging. We gotta speed this up between Otani and Trout. Instead, we're sitting there thinking, I don't want this to end. And baseball's gonna put a clock on that. Be careful what you wish for with a clock. Every single pitch between Otani and Trout last night lasted as soon as it hit the glove and was called a ball or strike or the one that went to the backstop and the clock would start again right away. Almost 30 seconds in between each pitch. And the at-bat lasted like two and a half, three minutes. Who the hell cares? Turn the clock off. Baseball's going to want to speed that moment up. Just taking shots in the stands of people who are like, couldn't breathe because they were just so into it. Be careful what you wish for. Because on top of it, could you imagine? Could you imagine that at bat ends on a called third strike because Trout's not ready? <laughs> oh. No. And it smolts earlier this week or last week when we had him on. It's like, that's not going to happen. Oh, okay. Just like it's never going to happen in the Super Bowl. Somebody's diving for the end zone, a score with 10 seconds to go. Up, oh, fumble through the end zone, game over. That's never going to happen. I hear that all the time. We're not changing the rule. It never happens. It hardly ever happens until it does. Until it does. You leave the back door open. You leave your 
Achilles heel uncovered. Turn the clock off, baseball. Save situations. Let it ride. You move it fast enough, innings one through eight, then the ninth inning and extras, let it play out. What person on the planet last night was saying, this at-bat's taking too long. This game's too long. I mean, come on. First of all, there was anticipation because Smoltz called that, I think, the eighth, like, He's basically oh, yeah. saying, at one gonna, point, so at one th- point he goes. At one point he did the math in his head. Yeah. Like, yeah. He goes, "Oh, we're gonna get that. We're gonna get the uh, the matchup." So then the anticipation built. At least for me, I was like, "Oh man, this is really gonna well, happen." Well, and then and then your guy Jeff McNeil of the Mets walks, mm-hmm. and you're thinking, "All right, so Trout won't be the last out." And Mookie Betts of all people hits the oh, double play man. to set it up. Brutal. Again, turn the clock off in a save situation. Let it play out. Because last night, if that pitch clock was going, oh. catch the Rich Eisen show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free. 